Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you're a returner, it is always nice to have you back. This video is coming at the request of two subscribers who asked if I would show what my makeup routine is. And this is the look that we will be going for today. As you can see, yes, I am looking professional. I am in a blazer. I did do my makeup for my medical school interview. I've been doing it for all of my medical school interviews. And when I think about my makeup, I really only do it for special events. I don't get up and go to work with makeup on. I'm also wearing a mask at work and in a dark room. So there's not really any real reason for me to put makeup on if no one's gonna see it. But when it comes to medical school interviews, events for Alpha Kappa Alpha, because I was going to many events for AKA over the past two years, that's when I wear my makeup. And I am not a beauty YouTuber. I am not a MUA, a makeup artist. I am not someone who has all of these skills, but apparently some of you think I am. So I'm very honored that you would ask to see what my makeup routine is because it lets me know I'm doing something right. So my makeup is done completely 110% by myself. It takes me about 20 minutes to do. Obviously this video is longer than 20 minutes because I am talking you through it, saying what it is that I'm doing, giving explanations, all those kinds of things but it takes me 20 minutes to do. And I like the way that I look at the end. I like the way that I look before, just to make that clear, I'm a 10 out of 10, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, and you are too. So what I do when I'm putting on my makeup is I'm trying to just enhance what is already there. I don't do any kind of contouring, any kind of bronzing. I just, I just, Add a little bit of color here and there to even my skin tone and then add pops of color and then also to like fill in like my eyebrows or make things pop so that's how I think of my relationship with makeup I'll be telling you how I'm doing the things what um, materials and products that I'm using to the best of my ability and that is what this video is going to be. So let's get into it. I do have a seven step process for my makeup. It's eyebrows, eyelids part one, foundation, blush, eyelids part two, and then um, lips. So actually that's six, sorry, six steps. Six steps in 20 minutes. I feel like that is pretty doable, pretty good for what we get at the end. So we're about to get into the actual demonstration, but thank you very much for watching. And thank you also for suggesting this video to those two subscribers. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have zoomed in a little bit. This is where we're going to be for all of the steps. And as you can see, my face is nice and clean. This is the base that we are starting with, still a 10 out of 10. So I went, did my skincare, moisturized, and this is what we are starting with to do all our stuff. So the first step that I have is doing my eyebrows. So what I use, oh, also, yes, the bonnet, keeps my hair out of my way, that way I can see everything that I'm doing. So it is a very important part of the process. But the first thing, that I start off with is my eyebrows. And to do my eyebrows, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. It's got two pieces to it. We're gonna use the brushy part first, and I use this to kind of shape my eyebrows into what it is that I want them to look like first. So, because this is gonna help with the next part that we do. So the difference between my two eyebrows after just brushing them. I try to make sure that I use both hands since I have two of them and it helps me with my dexterity since I know as a surgeon that's going to be pretty important that I can do things on both sides. Is everything going to be perfectly the same? No, my face is already not perfectly the same as is true with like 
every single person on the world, but they can be sisters. They don't have to be twins, but they can be sisters. Now I'm going to use the other part, which has the crayon E aspect to it. And the way I do it is I use my nose as a guiding line. And what I do is I start at the bottom. So I'm going to come in to about here. I'm going to add a little bit of a bottom line. I'm going to use that to fill in going up. And then we're going to come in a little bit to get those little hairs that go more up as opposed to that way. So I start off going out and then we're going up on these. Beautiful. Then I came over here again using my nose as a guider. Let's also make sure we have enough on the stick, that way it's actually going. And then we're doing the uppy part. Now, what I do is I go back in with the brush on like the inner portions just to make sure they're not too strong and gives them a more natural look. And then other side. And then the final thing that I do kind of like just to gel down my eyelashes, I mean not my eyelashes, my eyebrows to make sure that they don't move is I use Great Lash Maybelline New York clear transplant transparent brow gel so this is what it looks like clear green cap so i get this at walmart no i don't i get this at walgreens i also get the nyx eyebrow pencil at walgreens as well and on amazon amazon has everything so what i do is i take this Just a final bit of shaping. So I'm swiping up, 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 and then I'm creating the edge that I want with this by swiping it across. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And then the swoosh. And you are going to leave a little bit of residue, a little bit of jelly gel over the top of your eyebrows. So what I do is I just go swamp, swamp, nice and clean. And then we're moving on to step two. Step two is eyes part one. So for eyes part one, we have to prime. And for that, I use NYX Professional Makeup Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. Not that I ever plan on being in the water when I'm putting makeup on, but it's waterproof. This is what it looks like. I got this specifically off of Amazon. So what I do is I take it, put a little swoop there, a little swoop there. Then what I do is I take my pinkies and I make sure that it's well spread over my upper eyelid. Done. We are now primed. We're going to wait a couple of seconds. And while we're waiting those little couple of seconds, I'm going to show you what I use to start my eyeshadow. So I use the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette, and this is what it is. As you can see, it is well loved. So this is what I use. And as you can also see, there's some colors in there that are extra well loved. And these are the three brushes that I do, that I use to work my magic. 
they do not have any kind of um, labeling on them. So I just call them inner eyeshadow brush, outer eyeshadow brush, outer outer eyeshadow brush, like the darker one. Or I could just call them light, medium, dark color because that's how I use them. As you can see, they have their well-chosen colors already kind of pressed into them. So what we're gonna do is what I do it. I don't know if other people do it other ways. Makeup gurus are probably like, why is she doing it that way? It works for me. So what I do is I start with the lighter color, which goes on the inside lid, the inside part of the upper lid. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this light color brush, lightly pressed, and we're gonna put it on this gold color. And the way that this goes, you're gonna do a lot of winking at yourself in the mirror, or relative to right now. I'm gonna be winking at y'all a lot to uh, do my eyes now. So. I like starting on the left side. Inner lid. And you draw it out to about halfway on your lid. That's where we start. Come to the other side. Okay, there we go. Not perfect, that's okay. It's just our first, it's just our first layer and that's what blending is for. That's the magic of blending, as we will get to soon. And it's okay to go back. That's one thing I had to tell myself. It's okay to go back to add to things to make it a little bit more even. That's what I just did there. So now we have the inner color. Next, we're going to use the medium brush. And this is the shape of the medium brush, just so you can see. It's got a little bit of a flare to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this kind of taupey brown color to use that as the base for everything else. We're going to draw it over on the outside of the upper lid as well as into the crease. And one of the ways that I'm trying to help myself to be able to have a nice flat-ish surface because you know it's an eye, it's, it's a literal sphere, is I am tilting my chin up. That way it draws my eyelid lower even as I'm still looking straight ahead. So the difference between this, everything's all up in the crease versus this where things are now a bit more exposed. And that's helping me out. See, life hacks, not life hacks, makeup hacks swoop okay come to the other side putting it on the outside of the lid drawing it up into the crease <laughs> and then what i also do is i take the same brush go up here to this i don't really know quite what to call this it's like a Mm, I don't really know what to call this. It's a little bit of a, it's not a hot pink, but it's a darker pink. So we're going to take this darker pink and then go back in over everything that you just did to give it a little color. See the difference? A little pop of color. Okay, here we go. Then we take the darker one. This is the shape of my darker 
brush, the brush that I use for darker colors. And what I do is I'm going to take this uh, kind of like dark purple, a little bit close to plum. I'm going to take that. And what I do is I put it on this outside, like this outer outside portion of my eyelid. And I use that on like on my how do I say this so I put this on my lash line and then just the inner the outer portion of my crease so I use it on my outer lash line and my outer crease to build definition so again you got to do a little like winking See, I'm just coming in halfway. I'm going to use some more. The difference between the two eyes. Same thing, just pulling it in about halfway. along my lash line and on my crease cute so then what i like to do at the end is to just go back in with the lighter color make sure that that is popping throw out a bit more to that layer bit more over here and then we'll take the medium color kind of like my blending brush just to make sure that everything flows nicely in between the colors Woo! now we can move on to the next step the next so we're done with eyes part one and Another thing that I also had to tell myself was when I'm doing this, if I'm going to raise my eyebrows, I need to make sure that I raise my eyebrows when I'm doing both of my eyes. So that way, when I relax my eyebrows, they look even because you don't want to be doing upper like raised eyebrows on one eye and then relax them on the other eye and then it comes out looking uneven. So. Here we are, everything's looking pretty even, at least to me. So now we're going to move on to part three, which is foundation. So let me go get my foundation. For my foundation, I use a liquid product and this is something that uh, Jasmine Williams put me on because I saw her using it. I mean, the amount of times that we were staying together, getting ready together for, you know, AKA. Obviously we're going to pick up things from each other's um, um, makeup routines and I loved how she was using this because it was just matching her skin perfectly so we have NARS NARS and this is their soft matte complete foundation give it a little shake I remember the person at Sephora telling me that you have to shake it a little bit so shake 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 and then this is the brush that I use I like using this side. This came from <laughs> Pretty Since 1908. This came a part of the brush set that Ivy Box sent us like a year ago, I think. I like these very much. That's probably where the other ones came from. They just didn't have the writing on them, but I like them. I use them. So we're going to take this, put that on there. Cover it back up. And then what I do is I just go around the bottom half of my face, getting it all spread around. Before I start kind of dragging it along the places that I missed. I also remember the person at the Sephora telling me that you could 
um, apply this using just your hands. I don't want to have that on my hands. So I'm using a brush. But if you feel like having this on your hands, perfectly fine. Make sure that you get up under the chin. Make sure that you get your nose from all sides. Stretch your nose out. Make sure that you're getting all of the surface area. Okay. Bottom half of the face is done. Next thing we're gonna do is the top half. So kind of make sure that this is pushed back. Don't want any makeup on my bonnet. So we're going this. I use less here for the top half of my face, less surface area. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same dot, dot, dot jumping. And then I make sure that I take it and I swipe up the left side of my nose, the right side of my nose, the center, just to make sure that everything here in this little area is not getting missed. And then we're swiping up, swiping out, swiping out. Making sure that everything is covered. We're getting close to the eyebrows, but even if we touch them, they've been gelled with that thing that we did earlier, the great, the great lash. You know what I'm trying to say. And then I take this and I drag it over this upper portion of my eyebrow slash the under portion of my eyebrow that we didn't touch with any of the eyeshadow. I take it up there. And that's just to make sure that it's all the same color because you don't want to have everything done in the foundation and then these portions are not like the same. So we just go swoop, swoop, and very good, making sure all of the parts of my nose are done and under my eyelid, my bottom eyelid. It's got to get some love too. Very good. Okay, foundation is done. Up next is blush. And this is a blush that I have had for a long time. It, it is from Sephora. So Everlasting Face Shaper Blush in the color Heartgasm. But that's what we got. As you can see, this has been well loved as well. So what I do is when I'm doing this, I say, Jasmine, you gotta make sure that you're keeping your face nice and straight. You can turn a little bit, but at the end, you gotta make sure your face is nice and straight at the end so that everything is even. So what I do is I take some of this, swoop, 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 and then I press it into the mirror. I'm not sure what that does. It's just something that I've always done. I can't remember if that's something I was told to do a long time ago when I got this, but hey, it works. So we take this, and I like putting it over the upper part of my cheekbone, and then swoop, 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 put it on the mirror, and then coming and going like this. High cheekbones. Look forward. I feel like there's a little bit more on that side, so let's add some more to this side. There we go. I feel better about that. So now, because sometimes I feel like it's like the line between blush and uh, foundation can sometimes be a little hard, as I take my foundation brush and I come back in. And I just do a little, a little padding to kind of blur the, the boundary between those two products. 
just to make it look a little more natural. And there we go, we're done with the blush step. Now it's time to come back for eyes part two. And for eyes part two, it's gonna be a lot of staring straight into your soul. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this angled brush and I'm going to go back to that NYX eyeshadow palette. We're gonna come all the way to this black color right here. We're gonna go tap, 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 tap. And then we're gonna do the Kubrick Stare. The Kubrick Stare is actually a film technique that they use for a lot of villains. So we're gonna do the Kubrick Stare, and this is going to help you get a good angle up underneath your eye, because we're gonna be working up under here. So what I do is because I'm working on my left eye first, I have it in my left hand and I'm holding it so that the long side of the angled brush is on the right. So I'm going to take the brush up under my eyelashes and I'm going to use this just to add some darkness to it. And yes, I am going past my actual eyelashes. I'm drawing it out a little bit here. Perfectly fine. Are there times where I poke my eye? Yeah, it happens. It happens to all of us. And you just try again. Okay, and now that's the difference between the two eyes with the under part of it done. And now I'm gonna use my right hand. Like I said, we try to make sure that we are using both hands since we have two hands. So because I am doing my right eye, it's in my right hand, and now the longer part of the angled brush is on the left. <sighs> I even still, after doing my makeup, I do feel like I am not as good at, on this part with my right hand, but it's okay. We're trying. You're doing your Kubrick stare, getting up under your lashes. The next step in this portion is the eyeliner for the top lid and I use a liquid eyeliner. So it is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the color Deepest Black. So it comes in this pink. There you go. And what we do is we shake, 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 shake. Now we're going to do the opposite of the Kubrick stare. We're going to put our chin up. There we go chin up. We're going to get as close to the inside as we can. I need a little help <laughs> making sure that this is nice and because the magnification on my phone, I just not seeing what I need to see. So I'm going to use my mirror from the blush and I'm going to make sure it's nice and even all the way through. Very good. Now I'm going to close it, shake it again. We're going to switch hands again. Okay, and this is the difference between top eye done, top eye not done. So, okay. Got my little mirror again. That way I can see better what I'm doing. And we are going to come in. Hmm. 
We're going to switch back to this side and get to the little wing. So you can add a wing, you cannot add a wing, perfectly fine, but I like adding just a tiny one. And we're going to use that, um, remember when we were doing the under with the angled brush and we extended a little bit out beyond like the natural line that it was following. So we're going to use that to help us a little bit on the two sides. So I take this. There we go. We just followed the line that already existed. And now we got to switch, switch, follow the line that's already there. Done. So now you have this. Now we got this. And we have the little area that we need to fill in. So we're going to do reverse Kubrick stare. You're going to tilt your chin up. I'm going to take this. Nice and skinny. There we go. And then we're going to switch. There. Okay. And next thing. The nice part, you're like, yes, I finally finished. The next part is lips so i need to go and find my lip liner but we are not finished yet we also have to put on mascara so for the mascara i am using the Too faced better than sex mascara there we go i got this from sephora and what we're going to do is we're going to take the chin up we're going to open nice and wide staring straight into your soul and what I like about this is that it has a hourglass shape to it. That way it works with you. It works with your anatomy. So we got up and this is going to help us because uh, it's giving us more room to push on our eyelashes. That way they're not right up against, you know, your eyebrow and skin and all that stuff because you don't want to leave a mark. So. I give it a little shake and then I pull it off. Shake, pull, shake, pull, shake, pull. Then we put it back in. Right hand now. Shake, pull, little shake, pull, little shake, pull. Very good. Then it's time for the final part, the lips. For the lips, I have two products that I use. I use the NYX Professional Makeup Lick Pencil Lip Pencil in the color Espresso. And this is what it looks like. Part of the information is gone because you know, you gotta sharpen it. And when you do that, it goes down. And then I also use the Fenty Beauty Cream lip cream in the color Fenty Glow. So I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to take my mirror, we're going to come in, and we're going to line our lips. Now, you can underline them, you can overline them. I like to line them. I like just staying in the lines. So we're going to take this, Top part done. And remember what I said, it's perfectly fine to go back in. If you feel like something needs to be darkened, enhanced, lightened. Lip liner done. Now what I do 
is I take, put that back, open this, is in the empty space, that's where I place my lip, my, uh, lip cream. So, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoosh it together. And then we're gonna come back in, add just a little more to the center. Make sure that there's some nice pinkness to it. So this is my face. This is how I do all my makeup. And now the final thing is to take the bonnet off, do the hair, so let's go do that. And here we have the completed look. So this is how I'll be showing up to my medical school interview today. That's very exciting. And I hope that if you were one of those people who asked for me to show what my makeup routine is, I hope that this helped. If you are someone who just wanted to see, was curious how another black girl does her makeup, then I hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.